正会。Rebirth of the malicious empress of military lineage, Chapter 163. Suspicion. Yes. What a pity. The people who said it was pitiful did not have any traces of emotions on their faces. Shen Miao had the long hatred of the two households of the Shen family, and with the blood revenge of the previous lifetime, it was not enough for it to be like this. It was otherwise for Shen Dongling. Even though in the early years she and Wan Yiliang were suppressed by Ren Wan Yan in the Shen residence. Shen Dongling did not express any one bit of dissatisfaction. It was just precisely so that made the current appearance even more chilling. The few heads rolled and tumbled down to the crowds. There were gasps of shock in the crowd, and a timid girl had already closed her eyes and screamed because the entire family was convicts. Thus, no one could collect the bodies. The higher ups had to instruct before they were cleared. It was said to be settled, but it was just setting a fire to burn. Seeing that these officials were moving the bodies, Shen Dongling seemed to have lost interest and smiled at Shen Miao. Previous in the residence, due to my poor health, one did not go over to fifth young sister. Now that one had married. It is even more inconvenient. However, fifth younger sister is always in my other. If fifth young sister is interested in the future, one can come over to the Wang residence for a sit so that us sisters would be able to chat intimately. Shen Kaiyu was listening at the side, and his brows wrinkled. He had not liked Shen Dong Ling much in the beginning, and especially now that Shen Wan's side had a misfortune. Even Shen Yu and Chen Kaiyu were not spared. Shen Dongling, who was married off, was however safe and sound. However, one need not need to be calculative with a Shu daughter. But it seemed that the Huang family was very sociable. A timid and weak person was able to make the entire family on the husband's side to dance around her. Shen Kaiyu was not a fool and had felt that Shen Dongling was not as simple as she looked on the surface. Moreover, the Shen Dongling was charming and seductive, but her personality was still very indifferent. Thus, he was not satisfied and would remind Shen Miao not to be too close to her. When Shen Miao heard it. She gave an indifferent smile and retorted with a question. Seeing third older sister's appearance, it seemed that young Master Wang treats third older sister well. Shen Dongling was somewhat shy and hung her head down. The Wang family is kind. Shen Miao's smile was somewhat cold. The Wang family was not completely kind. No matter if the Wang family treated well or not. Shen Dongling was not in any way sincere. She did not pay too much attention to Shen Dongling in the past lifetime, as Shen Dongling would not dare to be like this under Ren Wan Yun's pressure. She had the same character as Fu Ziyu Yi and was inept in concealing oneself. One did not know if after Shen Miao's death, did Shen Dongling have the upper hand in the future fights. In any case, it was all because of your blessing, Shen Miao said vaguely. We still have other matters, so one would not bother third older sister for watching the fun. Shen Dongling quickly said her goodbyes. Goodbye, fifth younger sister. Shen Miao did not desire to say more to her and took the lead to step away. Shen Kaiyu gave a faint nod before leaving, while Lu Tan and Lu Ling quickly followed. After Shen Miao and Entourage had left, Shen Dongling's personal maid, Xing Hua. Could not help but grumbled. Originally, Xing Hua also had a dumb personality, but now had followed Shen Dongling and entered the Huang family, had become a first-ranked maid. Her mistress was also the young mistress, thus her back had straightened, and she was no longer as cautious as she used to be, and was even a bit arrogant. Xing Hua complained. Furin talked to fifth young lady nicely, but fifth young lady was not even sympathetic. It is really unreasonable. She is Di while I am Shu. Naturally, one would look down upon. Shen Dongling was, however, not as angry as Xing Hua. But now you are the young mistress of the Wang family. One cannot be like previous. Moreover, in the future, when fifth young lady marries, there would not be a sister at all, and people would laugh. She still don't flatter Furin, but is still so indifferent. One fear that even if one beg in the future, nothing will happen. Shen Dongling smiled faintly. It is only just a young mistress of the Wang family. It is not even worthy of a mention in another's eyes. So why the need to flatter? Xing Hua did not have a good tone as she spoke. But you are, after all, an official's Furin. In the future, who can fifth young lady marry to? Could it be that she still thinks of marrying to some prince? Her reputation had been destroyed a few years before. 
so how would good families dare to marry her? Xing Hua. It seemed that she had gone overboard. Shen Dongling's brows wrinkled and Xing Hua quickly kept quiet and dared not speak more but her expression was still not normal. What is reputation for? Shen Dongling said softly, relying on the Shen family army, such a big tree, and with the Lu family army, even if one were to marry the current son of heavens, there would not be anyone who can stop her. It's just that, Shen Miao smiled somewhat meaningfully, it might not be good to marry to high up. At the other side, Lu Tan was still asking Shen Miao, youngest Biao sister, is that person your Shu sister? Why do I find that she does not look like the weak kind of person that people said to be? Lu Tan previously was afraid that she could not recognize the Shen family people so she specifically as the servants to inquire about each household and the temperament of each one of them. Among the information, Shen Dongling had the least because this third young lady had a transparent character and would often not leave the courtyard at all. Lu Tan sighed in wonderment as the younger generation of the Lu family were all mischievous, especially the Lu Tan and Lu Qian. Thus she was unable to imagine Shen Dongling's kind of life, who knew that upon seeing today, it was not at all like what the servants said. Shen Dongling was quite different from what she had imagined. Shen Miao smiled. Humans will always change. Lu Tan thought for a moment and finally understood, correct. One thinks that now that she had already married and have gained the favor of the in-laws, one's temperament would also change. Afterwards she the sighed, it is really difficult to be such a person. Shen Miao wanted to laugh at her actions but Shen Kaiyu asked, younger sister, now that the execution is over, one can return to the residence right? He had a lingering fear after the previous time where Shen Miao was kidnapped without any reasons. Just as Shen Miao was about to answer, she suddenly heard a crisp voice, older Shen's sister. Shen Miao turned her head back to look. The oncoming person was delicately carved jaded little gentleman that was wearing a pine green satin robes. The sides of the clothes were embroidered with pine leaves that made it very unique. This little gentleman was around 11 or 12 and was considered a young youth. His brows were very handsome but one did not know why there was childishness to it. It was obvious that one had to be 20 to have a headgear but he wore a small little jade head gear with two ribbons flowing at the side of his ears. There was a jade gourd around his waist and his complexion was fair and tender and was so adorable that it was just like a person walking out from a painting. Lu Tan looked until her eyes had brightened up. The children in Zhao Chun City were all mischievous monkeys and how would they be this lovable and pretty? Moreover those movements would melt anyone's heart. Even Lu Tan, who had no patience with children, was also attracted to this young youth much less the rest. Lu Ling and Shen Kaiyu was somewhat surprised as this youth seemed to be quite familiar with Shen Miao. Shen Miao frowned as she felt that this little youth was somewhat familiar but was unable to remember who he was. That little youth had thought that Shen Miao would very quickly call his name out and did not expect that Shen Miao would look at him in a daze thus he walked over to Shen Miao's side. His stature was not as tall as Shen Miao and had to slightly raise his head as he looked at Shen Shen Miao, just as Shen Miao wanted to say something to interrupt this silence, she heard a chuckle from the side, fifth Shen young lady, eldest Shen young master. The oncoming person was wearing a lake blue robes and the style of the clothes were exactly the same as the little youth in front. However this person was much older than the young youth. He had an appearance of a young man and had similar brows with the little gentleman. The brows were clear and handsome and his smile was elegant. Shen Miao and Shen Kaiyu knew of this person. It was Su Ming Feng of the residence of the Count of Pin Nan. Second younger brother is stubborn and not sensible. One hope that he had not offend fifth young lady. Su Ming Feng laughed. Shen Miao almost bit her tongue. That little gentleman looked at her somewhat angrily as Shen Miao asked, Su Ming Lang, you do not recognize me after two years? Su Ming Lang said angrily, didn't you said that you will bring me gifts upon your return? Shen Miao only felt that it was somewhat unbelievable. Two years ago, Su Ming Lang was still a fat glutinous rice dumpling and was not handsome or considered beautiful. The very most one could say that he was fair and tender. But after two years, 
Just who was this handsome youth in front? How did he slim down so much? One always said that female would change drastically at 18, male would also change drastically at 18. Su Ming Lang was still sulking. Lu Tan on the other hand could not help but touch Su Ming Lang's head. Lu Tan liked to look at good looking things and was very much amazed when she first saw Su Ming Lang, such a good looking little gentleman. Now upon looking at Su Ming Feng, she said what she thought loudly, really worthy to be brothers. Both are so good looking. Su Ming Lang's entire heart was about how Shen Miao was unable to recognize him but it was Su Ming Feng who could not help but laughed when he encountered such a straightforward female who praised him for being good looking. Shen Kaiyu and Lu Ling quickly greeted the two brothers. Shen Miao looked at Su Ming Land and smiled. The gifts are at my residence. One will send someone over to you with them. The heavens had pity on her. Ever since Shin Zin's return to the Ding capital, there were various matters that were happening every day that she had really thrown Su Ming Lang at the back of her mind. She also did not see Su Ming Lang and now upon seeing that Su Ming Lang seemed to have become another person, some regrets seemed to have burst forth. When a child was growing, there would be a different look every day. Thinking at the beginning when she left, Wan Yu and Fu Ming were only a little big and upon her return, she almost could not recognize them. Su Ming Lang was one who did not hold a grudge thus his dissatisfaction was all wiped off. Su Ming Lang asked, is older Shen's sister come to shop? Su Ming Feng laughed awkwardly. He naturally knew that today was the day where the Shen family was executed. The eldest household of the Shen family were disagreeable with the second and third household that this was not far from the execution grounds so it seemed that Shen Miao was here to observe. However one must not tell his second younger brother about it. Shen Miao said, just casually shopping around and now heading back to the residence. Su Ming Feng nodded his head obediently and said, Remember to give me my presents. Su Ming Feng gave him a smack at the back of his head and Su Ming Lang glared at him. He then looked towards Shen Miao and was about to say goodbye to Shen Miao when his gaze landed on the bracelet on Shen Miao's wrist, older Shen's sister. Your jade bracelet looked like the tiger head bracelet that older Z brother previously made. When those words were said, the few people there were startled. Shen Kaiyu and Lu Ling were not aware of what tiger head bracelet. Lu Tan was somewhat curious and Shen Miao had a guilty conscience. Su Ming Land said it innocently but Su Ming Feng's brows wrinkled. Seeing on the snowy fair wrist, there was indeed a jade bracelet that was hanging on it. The jade was of very good quality as it was a translucent emerald green in color, as if a plant that was growing in the deep mountains with some spirituality. Moreover that was not only one bracelet but it was two, just like a pair of double bracelet. There was also no overly ornate artwork and only a little tiger head was engraved on a small part of it. Although Shen Miao felt that it looked like a cat, it was one of the jewelries that Zi Jingxing gifted in the box. Shen Mao had originally felt that those jewelries were all expensive and respectable and each had its own advantage. If it was possible, she would want to wear all of them. But who knew that when Gu Yu saw it, she said, Young lady cannot wear all these together as these jewelry are too expensive and noble. One must need to wear more valuable and noble clothes to match it and if it was too simple, it would look nondescript otherwise. Shen Miao was discouraged. Zi Jingxing was not short of money and had gifted so much jewelry. Could it be that one had to specially wear expensive clothes in order to wear them? Even if she wore them, she would feel cumbersome. After thinking about it, she felt that this double jaded bracelet was the simplest and there was a hidden needle inside. It looked relatively simple. Even so, Lu Zhu Yan had repeatedly praised it. One could only say that the gifts Zi Jingxing gave was like him, not Loki at all. She was ever slightly distracted but Su Ming Feng got solemn and before Shen Miao could react, he grabbed on to Shen Miao's hands. One have offended. Shen Miao unconsciously withdrew her hand but Su Ming Feng held on tightly. Moreover he did not directly hold on to Shen Miao's wrist as there was a layer of sleeves that was separating. The posture was indeed very strange. Shen Kaiyu's and Lu Ling's gaze became cold at the same time before Shen Kaiyu spoke. 
Gentleman Su, you are too impetuous. Su Ming Lang watched with wide eyes. Most likely this was the first time someone said that his eldest brother was impetuous. But Su Ming Feng quickly let go of his hand and cupped his hands towards Shen Miao. Just now this was was too abrupt. My apologies. He after all did not do anything thus Shen Miao would not mind it at all but she did not know what Su Ming Feng had discovered. In the next moment, one heard Su Ming Feng questioning, one dare to ask fifth young lady, where one obtained this tiger head bracelet. Shen Miao's heart jumped and Lu Tan and the rest were flabbergasted. Su Ming Feng was a male so why did he ask a female where she obtained her jewelry from? Even Su Ming Langs looked strangely at Su Ming Feng. Su Ming Feng remained unmoved and continued to look seriously at Shen Miao as if he was very persistent in getting an answer from Shen Miao. Shen Miao recovered to her senses and said with a gentle smile, it was bought from a traveling merchant. He only said that it was an imported product. One did not expect that gentleman Su know of it. Is this bracelet called Tiger Head Bracelet? Su Ming Feng's expression was disappointed for a moment but in the next moment he spoke with vigor, correct. It is called Tiger Head Bracelet. Can fifth young lady part from your love and sell me this Tiger Head Bracelet? Lu Tan had choked on her own saliva. The people of Ding Capital was sure strange, this handsome youth in front actually liked to buy female jewelry. One heard that in some big families there would be a few weird hobbies, like some would like to collect females dudu, undergarments or some would like to put on females rouge. It seemed that this gentleman Su liked female jewelries. Su Ming Land said, Eldest brother, you want to buy this tiger head bracelet to gift to the young lady of your fancy? Upon hearing it, Shen Kaiyu and Lu Ling was startled. Lu Tan was also stunned. So it was not because one like it but to buy it for the young lady of his fancy. Shen Miao's mind quickly turned and she smiled slightly. This is after all my personal jewelry. No matter if one sells, buys or gifts, it is not appropriate for it to land in the hands of a male outside. Moreover if gentleman Su wants to buy for a young lady of your fancy, one should not gift the jewelry that I used before. If gentleman Su has intention, I do know that there are several good jewelries in Ding Capital's jewelry shops that are much better than the one on my hands. The conversation had been said till like this that even one's innocence was brought up. To give one's jewelry to a male outsider, what would others think? No way. Shen Kaiyu nodded his head, correct. The matter was related to his younger sister's reputation. Not a single jewelry could be leaked out. Su Ming Feng could only say in ridicule, since this is the case. The one can only regret it. After saying a few more superficial words, Su Ming Feng took Su Ming Lang to say their goodbyes with Shen Miao and entourage. Just as when they were about to leave, Su Ming Feng seemed to have suddenly remembered something and looked at Shen Miao. He hesitated for a while before asking, Did fifth young lady see the little marquee of the residence of the Marquis of Linen? Shen Miao was startled and the few people beside her were also startled. Zi Jing Xing had been dead for two years and everyone knew about it. Was Su Ming Feng crazy? Shen Miao lose her smile. The little marquis of the Zi family had died in his youth so how would I be able to see him? Does young master Su have any prejudice against me? Else why does one curse me? Su Ming Feng no longer said anything and this time really took Su Ming Lang away. When one was unable to see both of their figures in the crowd, Lu Tan rubbed her shoulders, one has goose bumps all over. Youngest Biao sister. Why would that person asked if you have seen a dead person without rhyme or reason? Shen Miao said, being possessed. I think so. Lu Tan was under that impression. Shen Kaiyu frowned. In the future, reduce one's contact with the Su family. Of all things one asked Shen Miao if she saw a dead person and now without a good cause, one was stained with bad luck. But why would he ask you that? Lu Tan asked curiously. Does youngest Biao sister have any friendship with that little Z marquee? There are no connections or relations. Shen Miao replied in six words. Lu Ling looked at her strangely. Shen Miao did not know that on this day, Su Ming Feng who had seen the tiger head bracelet on her wrist, 
was restless the entire day. Even Su Yu also noticed that Su Ming Feng was not right and asked him what had happened. Now that the Count of Pin Nan, the Su family had kept a low profile, everyone knew that the current situation was like raging in the midst of the storm. The Su family was already accustomed to such carefree days and Su Ming Feng did not enter officialdom. So what was the point of putting up such a face? Su Ming Feng only vaguely said some things while eating and returned to his room after a few mouthful of food. Following that, Su Yu and Su Furin looked at each other. Su Furin asked, what is wrong with him? Su Yu shook his head. Su Furin then asked her younger son, Su Ming Ling, Ming Lang, today when you went out with your eldest brother, who did you meet? Su Ming Ling was picking the dishes and thoughtlessly said, Meet older sister of the Shen family. Eldest brother asked the older Shen sister for her jewelry but older Shen sister did not give it. Older Shen sister said that his was not appropriate and eldest brother not was not happy. Su Furin and Su Yu suck in a breath of cold air. Su Ming Lag's words were incomprehensible but to the both elders it was that Su Ming Feng was close to the young lady of the Shen family and the young lady of the Shen family cared of her reputation and did not give thus Su Ming Feng got angry. Su Furin put down her chopsticks and asked, I ask you in detail. The older sister of the Shen family, is it fifth Shen young lady? Now that the second and third household of the Shen family was executed, naturally it was not Shen Yu. Shen King died two years ago. Shen Dongling was married into the Wang family. The remaining unmarried older sister of the Shen family, was only left with Shen Miao. Su Furin's first thought was the great formidable general's Shen family since this Shen family was the most famous in Ding capital. Su Ming Lang nodded his head with strength. This time Su Yu could not sit still. He faltered as he said to Su Ming Lang, your eldest brother as for another's jewelry. Su Ming Lang's head nodded like it was a chick feeding on rice. Both husband and wife looked at one another and saw the incredulous look in their eyes. To put it bluntly, Su Ming Feng was 23 recently and normal people would already be long married and those married earlier on would have sons. However one did not know what was wrong with his brain as he was not willing to marry at all. Early on there was still Zi Jing Xing of the residence of Marquis of Linen, thus Su Yu was not at all worried since Zi Jing Xing was one who females liked. Thus it was not bad to follow with Zi Jing Xing. However when Zi Jing Xing died, his son could almost be a monk. One did not see him showing any interest in any young lady for these two years. No matter if one's expectations was high or not, if this went on, the husband and wife of the Su family would suspect that Su Ming Feng had broken sleeves. At this moment hearing Su Ming Lang saying that, both husband and wife were half happy and half felt difficult. The good news was that Su Ming Feng was a normal male and liked females. The difficult thing was that of all females he liked, the one he fancied was Xin Xin's daughter. Xin Xin had military power in his hands and if one were related to Xin Xin, when Emperor Wen Hua decided to take care of Xin Xin on one fine day, the Su family had to also be in misfortune. It was so difficult for them to get out of the fire pit and now they have to jump into another fire pit. Thinking like this, one's head started to ache. It was Su Furin who was considerate, don't rush first. Ming Leng did not say it clearly. If Ming Feng really liked the young lady of the Shen family, there would definitely be other signs. Jin Feng go and get the servants in eldest young master's courtyard here. I have things to ask them. In the room, Su Ming Feng was pacing back and forth upon his return. He did not see wrongly. Even if it was just a short moment, it was enough for him to see and touch clearly. The jade bracelet on Shen Miao's wrist was clearly the tiger head bracelet. There were two tiger head bracelet. One was in the hands of Princess Rongxing and the other appeared on Shen Miao's wrist. Su Ming Feng had always thought that the second one would not appear since Zi Jing Xing died. Under heavens, only Zi Jing Xing knew how to make the tiger head bracelet. That time Su Ming Feng and Zi Jing Xing were youths that would go to brothels on horseback. One day, he saw Zi Jing Xing grinding and carving a bracelet-like thing and laughed at him. In fact he was very curious as Su Ming Feng understood Zi Jing Xing. Even though Zi Jing Xing was a handsome beauty and frivolous, he had no interest in these ornaments, 
let alone female objects. Out of curiosity Su Ming Feng asked about it and Xi Jing Xing rolled his eyes and said that it was a hidden weapon. Afterwards Su Ming Feng grilled Xi Jing Xing so much that he was annoyed and let him see. That bracelet was connected into two and there was a secret weapon hidden inside, a poisonous needle that could be used as self-defense. Su Ming Feng felt that it was interesting and wanted it but Xi Jing Xing said scornfully, this is for females to wear. You wear it for who to see? Su Ming Feng felt suffocated to death. Afterwards he saw that Xi Jing Xing gave that bracelet to Princess Rong Xin. Ever since Princess Yu Qing passed on, Princess Rong Xin had treated Xi Jing Xing very fondly and Xi Jing Xing had an affectionate relationship with her thus it was understandable for him to gift it to Princess Rong Xin. It was called Tiger Head Bracelet because Xi Jing Xing carved a tiger head on it himself. His carving was not flattering at all and was as ugly as a dog. Su Ming Feng laughed at it a lot but Princess Rong Xin liked it. Xi Jing Xing's mood went up and said that he wanted to carve one more. But that jade was difficult to look for and one was unable to find it. It was not until two years ago when Su Ming Feng gave him a piece that he found from a rich merchant abroad. However the quality of the jade was not as good as the one before and had some shallow white marks that could be seen if one looked at it seriously. When Xi Jing Xing went for the expedition, he took that piece of jade and said that he would make a tiger head bracelet when he was bored on the road but who knew that man and heavens would be separated. And now that tiger head bracelet in Shen Miao's hands had shallow white marks in the jade when it was under the sun and it was the same mechanism and the same workmanship. Moreover that ugly engraving was exactly the same as it was from Xi Jing Xing's hands. Xi Jing Xing left the capital two years ago and Xin Xin headed to the northwestern region two years ago. Shen Xin left first before Xi Jing Xing left and when Xi Jing Xing left, he still had that piece of jade. Could it be that within the past two years, Shen Miao and Xi Jing Xing had met up? But at that time Xi Jing Xing was already dead. And the marks on the bracelet were not old and seemed to be polished recently as it was not smooth enough. Su Ming Feng's heart was palpitating fiercely and he waved his hand to call his servant over. Go and get some people to guard at Shen Xin's residences and monitor the fifth Shen young lady's movement. It is also alright to bribe the servants in Shen Mansion. I must know fifth Shen young lady every single move. Naturally Su Ming Feng did not know when his words reached to Master Su's and Su Furen's ears. What enormous shock was there, heavens! Su Yu said. Ming Feng really have deep feelings for this female. I originally thought that Ming Feng did not look like one who will take jewelry from others. One still thought that it was Ming Lang who spout nonsense and did not think that it was true. Su Furin's head hurt and she said after drinking a sip of tea, how could one be so reserved previously and now becomes another person, even bribe others to be an informant? This is not how one should be chasing a female. What is the difference between this and those ruffians outside? Perhaps it is bittersweet emotions. Su Yu somewhat sighed. This child follows me. Everlasting amorous. Su Furin rolled her eyes, going along with this. If one do not let Ming Feng marry then Ming Feng would die first. It is better to send one's card over to the Shen residence. Send over the card for what? Su Yu did not understand. What else can it be for? To see the daughter-in-law for your son. Su Furen's words were startling. 